Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to heal past pain. Watch this video. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please click the little subscribe button and the bell to receive new videos when I release them. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you so much and welcome back. I just gave Saint a bath and he's being a little crazy. So if you hear doggy noises, that's what's happening. Um, anyway, today's subject is about healing past pain. I don't even mean like physical pain. I also mean emotional pain. So you can interchange the two because really there's the same modality I use for both. Now he's in the beanbag chair, sorry. <laughs> there's the same modality I use for both. And what that is, is non-resistance. So this is kind of what it looks like. I like to say that our pain or our emotional pain is like a ruptured inner child. So the way that I like to heal past pain is I like to think about how we treat children and how children react. So think about this. First thing about pain is to not resist it, but what that means is acknowledging, right? An inner child or a child needs to be acknowledged. If you don't acknowledge a child, they freak out because they don't feel safe because they're not being acknowledged and they need attention. So our pain needs attention. It needs to know that it doesn't need to go away. It doesn't need to be any different. It doesn't need to change and we're not rejecting it. So kind of like children, they need to be seen to feel safe. They need to be heard to calm down. They need to know that they don't need to be any different. They're not gonna be abandoned. This is the same thing with our emotion. So what's interesting about it is when you think about um, acknowledging something means I don't need you to, to leave. Seeing something means you're making it feel safe. I'm seen, I feel safe. Don't you feel safe when you're seen, right? And then not abandoning it because it is what it is. Most of us abandon our negative emotion and our pain. We drowned it out with drugs like Advils and whatever, which is fine temporarily. We, if it's an emotional pain, we escape that in any way possible. But if we can not escape that and not resist it and not need it to go away and not need it to be any different, but really just let it be present, we have to remember it's temporary. It's temporary, it's not gonna be forever. But the one thing that I do say, when we're looking at it, we're acknowledging it, we're not needing to be any different, we're not abandoning it, we also need to say to our pain, if, whether physical or emotional, if you stay forever or not, that's fine. It's kind of a little trick, but when you say, if you're here forever, if you last forever, I'm fine, we kind of gotta let the pain kill us. And I don't mean really kill us, but I mean that feeling of, I just have to put up with what this is. It's radical acceptance of our emotional or physical pain. I'm not saying you have to be okay with it being there and lasting, but it's the experience of radically accepting that this is here right now. Right now is a moment in time. Fully in this moment right now, I am fine with you. It's fine if you stay. It's fine if you are what you are. It's fine that I'm seeing you and that you exist. It's fine. And we get to that point of acceptance, there's a piece of surrender in there. We've surrendered to what is. When we can totally surrender to this pain, I'll give you an example. When I just went through my divorce, I hated it, it sucked, it was terrible. But it was what it was, it was happening. And what's interesting is we know, well, when we start to understand that our perception is linked to something higher and we start to link up to that higher perception, we know that everything even painful that's happening to us is happening for us. It is, because the resistance we have to what's happening is what causes a lot of pain. When we're not allowing ourselves to expand into a new dimension, into a new relationship, into a new reality, it feels stuck, it feels negative, it feels like negative emotion. When we have thoughts that are in alignment with the higher self, it feels like negative emotion. In our body, our body holds a lot of negative emotion and creates physical pain. So the point is to not focus on the pain, but not resist the pain. One of my clients today was telling me about her physical pain. She goes, Candace, is it wrong if I acknowledge it and I'm with it and I see it and I don't need it to be any different, but I need a break, so I'm gonna do a little detour? I go, no, that's not wrong. That's actually shifting your vibration so you can come back in and be with the pain. 
as long as you're not denying it or neglecting it, you're acknowledging it, it's there, you don't have to focus on it 24-7. You just have to let it know, I'm cool with you, take a little break, do a little pattern interrupt, and then it will be interesting to see what happens when you go back to it. It's not going to feel as big because you're not resisting it, you're not needing it to be any different, you're not judging it, you're not making it mean anything, by the way. And you're not totally focusing on it. It's just there. It's just there. You're almost becoming the neutral observer of your own pain. And when you can rise up and become the neutral observer, which I think I just did a video on that last week, or maybe it's coming this week. When you can become the neutral observer of your pain and your negative experiences, you start to disengage from the identification of it. You don't want to identify with your pain. You want to acknowledge your pain, but you are not your pain. You are not your pain and your pain is not your fault. Two big things we have to understand about this. So when we're healing past pain, we can literally as well do a healing of memories where we're acknowledging it. We're acknowledging that it may not even be current, but it's stuck in there somewhere. We're acknowledging that um, it's safe within us. It's not going to destroy us. It's going to be painful and not be so fun, but it's worse if you resist it. So if you just acknowledge it and let it be and not abandon the pain, but not fully focus on the pain, just let it chill with you, right? That's when we can start to release some of it because it feels safe when it's seen and when it doesn't need to be any different, it's not abandoned. It then is like, oh, I don't have to hold on anymore. It's like a kid who's like, I don't have to scream and yell anymore. She sees me. She's not abandoning me. She's not rejecting me. And she's not needing me to be any different than I am. What does a kid do? Feel safe. Ooh, I can just be me. I don't have to be any different. Same with our pain. And when that happens, it starts to release. Then what you can do is take that new experience and go back into a memory of the past. New consciousness, old experience equals a transformation or an upgrade. You can go back into the past and do what I always like to do. Look at evidence. What does evidence mean? Look to see, is what caused my pain still what I'm perceiving it to be? Or do I see something different from a higher perspective? If I do, I can go back into that memory and I can notice what I might have misperceived due to age, circumstance, influence, and upgrade it to what you see and how you see things now. In that moment, you'll notice a release. As we release more and more of these painful memories from the past, we start to integrate more into our power in the moment and in the future. I hope this message serves you well, just so you know. If you're a Patreon, I will be posting um, worksheets on this video. If you want to join that, please check out this link. Also, please be aware of my 20% off discount the month of August. That will all be in the description below. And please also get on the wait list if you're interested for two of one of my two or both, sometimes people do them together, my 12-week program, Emotional Rehab, Healing Inner Child Wounds for Highly Sensitive People in Relationships and Shadow Work, which is all about the mother wound, the mother's wounds, the father wound, the father wounds, the tribal wounds, all the stuff in your shadow comes in to be in your light, in your power, in your purpose. So check those out. Those will be starting October 1st, launching in September. I love you guys so much. I'm always welcome to reading all of your comments below. You probably noticed it takes me a minute, but I do read them all. I really appreciate you all. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon.